for the ornate gold frame template. This is a product mock-up and not an actual frame that um, when you purchase this will be shipped to you. It's a d digital product mock-up for Photoshop that you can download immediately and use in your marketing. Um, what you'll be doing is placing images on this template and placing it behind this main layer. Um, how I created this was I photographed a frame on the wall that had a mat in it and I just cut out um, the mat, the inside of the mat so that you can place images behind it. You can also um, extend the background on this and I'm going to show you how to do that later in the video so that you can add text and use this as a, um, maybe use it as a front side of a uh, printed marketing piece like a postcard or a double sided gift voucher or anything like that. Um, if you are looking for this template, go to my Etsy shop at designfullytemplates.com. Scroll down to the side where you can see the um, product categories and go to product mockups and you will find the gold ornate frame template there. And once you purchase this, you can immediately download a digital file of it and you can open this up in Photoshop and here's what you will see. There is a single layer image right now with a cutout so it has a transparent background on this. I'm going to open a folder I have on Dropbox with um, a folder of images that I keep that I use for my marketing. So it's anything that, and I update this as I go along with anything that's new um, that I want to use in any of my online marketing or if I want to add them to my website, I keep those things in this folder here. We're going to click, uh, select a vertical image and I'm going to click and drag that onto the template. Now what I do is I have a finder window open. I'm using a Mac. Um, I believe you can do this with a PC, but it's been a while since I've used a, a PC. So um, if you cannot access a finder window this way to um, select an image, go to File to Open. And from there, you're going to locate a file folder that has your images on there. I'm going to go to Dropbox where I keep my files. And I'm going to go into my Red Crane Portraits folder and locate my file folder with my images in there. Let's see, here are my photos and I'm going to click on an image and then select open and that file will then open in a new window in Photoshop. I'm going to click on that image and you can drag the window out so you can click and drag your images onto that template or go back I'm going to put that image back into Photoshop you can also select all so file I'm sorry is it file image wow it's been a while since I've done this in the old way so what I do is I want to select all. So I'm going to click Command A on my keyboard. And that's under Select to All. There we go. And then we're going to go to Edit to Copy. And then we're going to click on our template. So I'm going to click on that tab. Go to Edit to Paste. And it will place that image on a new layer above our frame layer. So I'm going to delete the one I dragged in there. because I only need one of these to show you how to do this. Now I'm going to select the layer that has our photo and I'm going to click and drag it below the template layer. So once you see that blue highlighted line below your template layer, go ahead and release it and now your image will be below the template layer and you can see it through the cutout on the mat. Now we need to reduce the size of that image. I'm going to go to Edit, Transform to Scale. Right now my Photoshop is uh, set up so that and by default I whenever I drop an image in there, the bounding boxes and the scaling options already appear on my image. But if yours doesn't, this is where you're going to find it, under Edit, Transform to Scale. Now holding down your Shift key, I want you to select one of the corner anchors and drag it in. This is going to reduce the size of your image. Holding down your Shift key still, you can move your mouse over to part of the image to grab it to move it in a little bit more. Now I'm going to grab another anchor and drag that in. I'm still holding my shift key because I want to constrain the proportions of this image and not distort it. And I'm going to reduce it to just outside the cutout area of my frame. If I bring it in too far, you're going to see the transparent background there and that's not what we want. That's not the objective here. We're going to just reduce it to just outside that cutout. Once you have it where you the size that you want, click return. You can use your arrow keys on your keyboard left right, up, 
or down to center it even more if you need to. I'm just going to click mine over just a little bit because I want there to be even space in the background on both sides of this image and I like the space above the head and I have it set. I'm going to click return. Now you can save two versions of this template. You can save a working copy of it. Go to file to save as and I'm going to put this on my desktop and I'm going to call this um, my, uh, gold frame and then you can put your client name at the end if you want to to just kind of keep an eye on it or call this the working copy since this is our Photoshop version so keep the format in Photoshop that way your layers will always be there and you can just drag and drop more images in there as you go and then click save so this is good to do once you've downloaded the template keep those templates in a, um, a Dropbox file so that you can always access them so if anything ever happens with your computer Hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, you always have a backup of the original files that you purchased from Etsy. And then I'm going to keep this working copy. I can keep a copy of that on a Dropbox as well, so you always have access to all of your marketing so that if, say, you don't have um, an external um, drive that you travel around with, you can access this on the cloud using the Dropbox app. And now we're going to flatten the layers and save this as a JPEG. So I'm going to layer to flatten image and it has collapsed all of those layers into one and file to save as and we'll call this by the client name and this is going to be a JPEG format file and click save and yes I want the maximum quality to be 12 and click OK. Now once uh, you've saved your JPEG version um, and maybe you want to take this the way it is and put it online as it is right now, the image size is way too big. Um, by pixels, it's uh, over 5,000 by 3,000 pixels. And in inches, just to give you an idea, it's 17 by 11 at 300 dpi. Way too big to put on Facebook. So if you want to um, reduce this image, I would recommend, because of the width of this image, put it at 900 pixels at width. That will then reduce um, the height by 600 pixels. I'm going to keep it at resolution 300 and click OK. And we can zoom in. And at 100%, you're still pretty clear. And it's just big enough to put up on, on Facebook or onto Instagram or any of your social media uh, profiles that you want. Now, if you want to um, keep it at a high resolution, I'm going back into my history to where we flattened the file. So now it's back to its original size at 11 by 17. And now I want to maybe create a marketing piece out of this. Now the size, image size 11 by 17, may be not wide enough for um, maybe one of my templates that are 5 by 7, you know, for gift voucher. And I want the 5 by 7 to fill up this entire space. So I'm going to create a new file just to show you with how this would work. So I'm creating a new document here, and it's taking its time, I'm sorry. There we go, new document. I think it's because I have quick time recording right now. It's going to take up some space. I'm going to set this to inches. And my width would be 7.25 because I want to use that um, bleed space. So I add an extra uh, quarter of an inch so that there is a eighth of an inch all the way around on all four sides of my image. And the width will be 5.25, same reason. And I'm going to hit create. You can keep it as a white background, it doesn't matter, or you can, um, if you have, um, if you want to keep it transparent, you can select that as well. I just have it default to a white background, so it's paper white, and click Create. I'm going to lower the size of it, so you can see it here. And I'm going to select this image. So remember, select all, edit to copy, and then edit to paste onto our document. I'm going to reduce the size of the image again, edit, transform to scale, and we're going to scale this image down to fit in. And you can see right now that it's just, just white enough there. And we have a little bit of space to add some text if you want to. If you want a little bit more, 
maybe want to make this image a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to place it here and hit return. Then I'm going to flatten my image. So I'm going to layer to flatten. And then I'm going to select some of this background, Command C, Command V. Using my move tool, I'm going to move this over here. Okay, and then I'm going to use my eraser tool and just erase back a little bit of that background because I want it to blend into this. There you go, nice and seamless. Layer to flatten again. And another option would be to use your uh, patch tool. And I'm going to select some of the color right above here, a little bit more. And I got too close to my frame here, a little too close to the white edge. And I'm going to click and drag this up. Oops, wrong way. Apparently I've forgotten how to do this. No, okay, I selected the wrong size. And V. And I'm gonna go back to my history and delete a couple of those options here. Command V. Sorry. I'm gonna select that white area right here. Sorry, guys. It's been a while since I've used the patch tool. <laughs> there are so many different ways to do things in Photoshop. It's astounding. And I'm a little bit more old school, and I've learned you know, the copy and paste method from back when Photoshop was its in its third version of Photoshop when I was in art school. And we didn't have the patch tool. This is something I learned a few years ago. So I'm selecting the area that I want to patch, and I'm going to drag it down to where I have a little bit of that background. And now I have seamlessly created, um, added to that background. And I missed a little spot right here, so I'm just going to select that area that I missed and with the patch tool and drag it to a spot where I can patch it over. Hit Command D to deselect those. And we're going to do it again at the bottom. So I'm just selecting this white area below. And I want to just select the spot that I'm going to mask over. So I have enough of the background to select. I'm going to click and drag from that patch tool. I'm going to select a larger area right above it. It's pretty close. Handy. And look at that seamless background. Now from there, you can use your type tool and add text and, and create your template, your um, gift voucher in Photoshop. Or you can save this as an EPS or a JPEG and you can um, add this to an InDesign file. So as simple as that, I've extended the background of my image and um, created a, a separate file for making marketing out of this. And you can follow that if you need that same instruction if you need to make this even longer or even wider. So say that my canvas size is now going to be um, 9.25, so it's even wider. I'm going to click OK. So now I have more space I need to add background to. We're going to do the same thing using the patch tool. I'm going to select, I can even, that's handy. Here's another little tip. I'm going to select it using the rectangle frame tool and then click on the patch tool and patch over that background. That way you don't have to try to draw it as precisely as possible. So again with the rectangle frame tool, a rectangle selection tool, and then click on the patch tool, and I'm going to select some of that background to fill it in. Easy peasy. And I can see there's a little differentiation right there in the color. So again, just going to patch that over. And Command D to deselect. And that's how you can extend the background of your template. If you have any questions, please paste it in the comments below on the YouTube video. And don't forget to purchase this template. Go to designfullytemplates.com. The link is in YouTube. It'll be at the top right-hand corner where my little uh, um, social media uh, selections are. 
and I hope you enjoy using this template. Again, if you have any questions, ask me below.